hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to use post load hook in odoo what is the purpose and we will see the real test there and in case you missed previous discussion about how to use uninstall hook math feature please check link is given in the description and if you want to learn more about odoo with different topics you can visit this playlist here you can scroll down little bit you can see odoo development tag is available and here you can see different topics also available with real task cast and this is the main playlist apart from this you can see here python related and editor related tips if you need any support related odoo you can visit to about page and send your query to this email address all right also the source code is also available in the github and we have a different social media pages you can also follow those one and you can also support this channel using two ways buy me coffee or the paypal so let's back to our main topic like how you can implement post load hook the first thing is we need to understand how to use and what is the purpose of the post load hook all right so let's say if you are going to an app store so here like let's say if you want to override existing features from the ORM method right or like let's say before like python file or the data file initialization you want to perform specific operation that time you can use post load feature so this is widely used for the monkey patch right so first thing is what is monkey patch so let's say I'm going to an editor and here like let's say I'm going to an Odoo or like let's say an HTTP so here we have like this web request class right you want to override the, this method or this you this method or let's say this init file sorry init method or let's say anything here in this file you want to override right you want to add something uh, you want to add something some new things here directly you cannot change right practically it's possible like directly you can add here your code but let's say you don't want to do this one but you want to write down the those code in your custom module right you have to maintain the separate module so that is also possible using we can also implement the same thing using the post load feature i mean the hook so let's say i'm i'm trying to uh like let's say yeah so this is the good one i'm trying to add here a new variable the variable name is like self dot weblearn right and i want to print all waves once this method will call so here weblearn equal to hello so let's say this is my value and this is my variable name and i want to print each and every time once this method will call right so that is also possible using post load method so post load method will first it will execute installed module and then after it will override this functionality and it will call always method so here like let's say if you want to implement the same thing but you have to maintain in another module so that time we can use so this concept we can use monkey patch right and monkey patch always possible in the post load hook let me delete this code here let me leave as it is default one and here i will try to create a one post hook method sorry post load method and then we will override this functionality so here i already created a new module weblearn's hook and you can see here init and the manifest file is available here so let's say i'm going to manifest file and yes like this is your first discussion about the hook you don't know what is hook how many types of how many types of hooks available in odoo i already explained in previous session please check those sessions also the separate playlist also available right so here we have to maintain key and value pair in the manifest file which is like post underscore load right this is a compulsory one if you are using post load we have to use like this only no need to any extra 
hook related keyword we need to add here let's say we have to add here the map fund name the meaningful map fund name for lord hook and the same method name we have to provide here in the init file oh sorry not here in this init file like that and there is no parameter we have to provide here and let's say here i will try to override uh, let's say this method so before that you can see this is http.py file right and here the thing is this is available in odoo directly so i will import first odoo.http import and here we have to provide the class name now what is the class name web request right so here this is the one and i'm trying to override that method all right so first thing is uh, let's say here this method name set underscore handler right so this method first we have to add here a new variable and we need to call that method to get the instance from the class directly so for that like monkey patch like set underscore handler equal to web request dot set handler and we don't need to provide the parameter we are just trying i'm just trying to get the instance only all right i'm not call that method directly here and let's say i will try to override that method with this one so here i will use the same parameter like let me copy paste everything here like copy paste here and here like i will use like let's say i will call this method and i will use here self and point arguments and off and now i will try to print here uh oh let's say not here right now and outside of this method we need to also call we need to also override this method the newly created method like web request dot set handler equal to set handler i mean this one without bracket and now i will use here i, I will try to get also the instance of the init file here like monkey underscore page init web request dot init like this only and i'm trying to add here one init file for that one like self and first we need to check if init method having any extra parameters oh yes yeah. so this call we will copy this one paste here and i will try to add here a new variable like let's have self dot and this is called from set handler method using monkey patch all right this is my value here and before like i will call the init method so like let's say monkey page init self and http request that's it and right now i will try to call only this web request dot init equal to our init method which we created here this one right so first thing is we need to override this set handler method right first we will get the instance from the existing method then we just override with this method here and we do the same thing as here so so what we did here we have to do the same thing in the init file also 
like this and now I will try to install the module I'm trying to refresh the page why because I just change in the Python side and I'm trying to install this module All right now I'm trying to reference the page so you can see here this method is not call automated but now let me reference the page oh sorry it's my bad so let me a print here this web variable I'm trying to refresh the page and you can see each and every time it will call this method plus I will add here one print statement let's see whether this method is called or not so let's say I'm trying to refresh the page and now you can see here first it will call the our, our method and then after it will call the parent method all right So like this way you can use monkey patch as well as the post underscore lord hook method hook feature all right and if you have any doubt related to this method please comment below and see you in next session and here we done about the hook feature so basically there are four types of hooks available pre-hook, post-hook, uninstall hook and the post underscore load hook.